Another event we were not at. Except that's the shore. That's a oh, pier. Darn the cornhole the, event. I, I just can't believe we missed that one, Joe. <laughs> how that happened? Do I detect a hint of sarcasm? I see Pat over there thinking, darn, he missed it too. <laughs> he missed it too. So oh, we can pull wait. it right out here, all right? Man, it's all a right. holiday. Gosh. Well, you know, you're going to wish you were playing cornhole come Tuesday morning because, mm, uh, yeah, right, we've got go. some rain on the way. It is not going to be pleasant outside. A uh, beautiful evening, though. So if you're lucky enough to be outside, enjoy yourself. It's a little bit on the muggy side, a little bit on the warm side. Let's check the numbers right now. Temperatures around the area generally in the 70s, 74 in Cape May, 78 in Philadelphia, a little cooler in the Poconos, 67 for Tobiana. It feels a little warmer than that as well. Now, it's a quiet night out there. We're not looking at any showers, a few hit and miss showers up in the Poconos. Tomorrow, 85 degrees, so a little cooler than the 91 we saw today, and that's because of the cloud cover coming in and a possibly an isolated shower late in the day. Those winds out of the southwest will pick up just a bit as the day wears on. I want to fast forward to tomorrow night and Tuesday because this is the concern. We have a mixed weather alert that has been issued already for Monday night and Tuesday. This is late Monday night because we could see one to three inches of rain. It could come down as quickly as two inches an hour in some places. We could see isolated higher amounts than that. Localized flash flooding is possible out there. We will see slow commutes on Tuesday and when the kids go back to school Tuesday, you are likely going to have to pull out all that rain gear for them as well. Storm scan three showing again just some showers that are clipping the Poconos, otherwise pretty quiet across the area. Not the case once you head off to the south and the west. All the flooding video you just saw in the south, that is all part of this same system. We're going to be watching it as it heads in our direction. It's kind of a squeeze play. The moisture coming from the south, and we have a front that's to the north that's going to start drifting in our direction. We have little pieces of energy, those two areas of low pressure that will swirl along it, and we're going to actually get a lot of lift going by tomorrow night and Tuesday. So here's what happens. We go into tomorrow morning, things are pretty quiet. We see increasing clouds, maybe a spotty shower or storm in the afternoon. You see, not everybody's going to get one, not a real big deal. It is late tomorrow night. If you're going to be traveling overnight tomorrow night, please heed the fact that this could be very heavy rain on the roadways. This is 3.30 in the morning already, Lehigh Valley moving into Bucks and Montgomery County. 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning across Philadelphia, South Jersey, Delaware. This continues well into about 3 o'clock and then it starts to clear out. So when you take the kids to school and when you pick them up, you may have a slow commute. We even have showers back building on our Wednesday. How much? Anywhere from 1 to 3 inches. Possibly somebody could pick up as much as 4. Do not fixate on where you see the higher amounts because it could be anybody that picks up that three inches. So again, here's what to expect. A long soaking event. Yes, we need the rain, but we do not need to get any flooding. We could get periodic downpours. Extra commute time will be needed on Tuesday and pull out that rain gear for the kids. The next seven days look like this. 85 for tomorrow. Scattered storms could develop in the afternoon. We have an alert day for Tuesday with the heavy rain and localized flooding. Look at that. A couple of days in the 70s. Haven't done that since July. And then back to the 80s and drying out for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Joe? Tommy, thank you.